right, welcome back to Focus on Health. Um, today we're focusing on healthy foods. I'm Lauren Buck, the Director of Public Health here in the City of Revere, and I'm here with my fabulous co-host. My name is Nati. We are today in the farmer markets. We try to have the vegetables fresh. Yeah, so we're going to buy, we're going to go shopping at the farmer's market, which is here every Friday um, at the American Legion Lawn, and we're going to go shop for some fresh, healthy vegetables to use um, to create a great, healthy meal. We are the Riverdale right now in the farmer markets. We have fre fresh tomato. If you want to make something delicious mm -hmm. to us, they make you healthy food, and you can eat healthy all day. Mm -hmm. You can get it. Yes. And we're also going to get, so we're going to get some tomatoes, we're going to get some cucumber down there, and some lettuce. The, we want to make it this, with the lettuce with delicious sandwich. We want to put a tomato, we want to put a cucumber, we want to put a oh, red onion, okay, that's very, very cool. I love that. Yeah, so we have some cucumbers, red onions, lettuce, and tomato that we're going to get all here at the farmer's market. It's really inexpensive to get healthy food here in Revere, and this is one of the places that you can get it. And you can eat healthy. Thanks so much for joining us here at the farmer's market today. We'll see you over in the kitchen where we're going to make our healthy meal. All right, we've made it back to the beautiful Revere TV kitchen studio. Um, and we are about to make our healthy sandwiches after a quick stop at the grocery store to pick up the rest of our ingredients. So Natty, why don't you tell us what we are making today with all the fresh, beautiful ingredients we have right here. Today we want to make a sandy lettuce. Yes. That's good and healthy. Great. We have all the ingredients and we started to make it. Yes, so one thing we want to tell you is we pre-washed all of our vegetables before we're starting today, which is something that's really important. When you are working with fresh vegetables, make sure you wash them before you, you chop them or cook with them or anything like that, right? Sure, that's very important. Right. So the lettuce is pre-washed. So now we're going to chop tomato and... Avocado and onion. Okay. So I'll take the tomato and... Oh, actually, let me take the onion and you take the tomato. Sure. All right. We are starting. <laughs> so while we're chopping and we're going to make... Um, we're going to take the skin off the onion here and chop the tomato into thin slices, right? Tomato, yes. It's okay. right size. So one thing that's super important to know. So this is a, a version of a sandwich, but we take the bread out of it, right? Yes. That, 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 that's a little we are bread. Right. So the lettuce without the bread. So when we make a sandwich like this, when you replace the bread with lettuce, um, you can replace a lot of the um, carbohydrates, a lot of the sugar that comes in, like white bread that you would make a sandwich with. So it makes it just even healthier, which is great. And it stays really crispy. And the lettuce we're using today is romaine, right? Yes. Okay. So romaine is this really green, thick, leafy um, lettuce, which has a lot of great stuff in it. It has a lot of fiber. It has a lot of folate, which is really good for your, um, for your heart and your growing body. It also has um, a lot of antioxidants, which are really good to help prevent things like cancer and heart disease. And it's, it does have a lot of good vitamins in it too. So it's a really, lettuce, like this green leafy lettuce is really good um, for heart health and just overall health. All right, so in I've got my slices here. Yes. And in the avocado, the it's very, it's good for the heart too. They have a lot of potassium. potassium. Yeah. It's very good. I love avocado. So, Natty, why don't you show everyone how you chop an avocado? Because some people have trouble with that. They have a lot of trouble. Sometimes I have a lot of trouble too, but <laughs> I try to make it the best. Yes. So you chopped it in half. <laughs> yeah, I did like this. And then make little and slices. Little, yes, small slicely. Yeah, and avocado is a really good source of good, healthy fats. Um, so it's a really good thing to have on sandwiches because it gives you a lot of good texture, but it also has, um, it's a really good, good, healthy food for you to eat in every day. All right. So we've got our slices. Awesome. So do we have everything that we need? So we have our, the outside layer of the sandwich. We've got our avocado slices, our red onion slices, our tomato slices. And Natty, why don't you tell us about that dressing? What's, we, what's we, in that dressing? With the dressing, we made it with a, a balsam of vinegar, and we used olive oil and black pepper. Right. That's so, so good. I made it my own dressing every time when I made it my own salad too. Yeah. So when you make your own dressing, you can 
you can have control over how much salt goes exactly. in. Exactly. Oh, I yeah. put a, the the how much uh, salt. Yeah. That's the that's the. So and there one. actually isn't any salt in this, right? Yes, a little pinch. A little salt, pinch of yeah, salt. So of it's pizza. balsamic vinegar, olive oil, black pepper, and a little bit of salt, and that's going to be our kind of dressing on the sandwich to give it a little bit of flavor. And the pickle, they that's so good for pickle. Too. Yep. So and pickles we, are good. Now pickles do have have salt in them. But the important thing about pickles is that you, you know, you use moderation. You don't eat a whole jar of pickles every day. Um, but yeah, they're really tasty and they give the sandwich a little bit of kick. I love pickles, so. Yeah, well today we want to use it to the turkey pepper because that's so good too mm -hmm. in mozzarella cheese. Right, so the, the meat on it, this is going to be, you could make this vegetarian. You could yes. leave out the meat if you wanted yeah, to. You could yeah, leave you out can the do cheese. It. We're going to put turkey and cheese on our sandwiches. Now turkey is a really good lean white meat. Um, so it's a little bit different than red meat. It has less fat in it, which is, again, a really healthy option um, when you want to get good protein, um, but you don't want to have that fat content that red meat has, like a steak or like a roast beef or something like that. But if you don't, if you want to eat it without meat, you can do it because right. it's good too. It's healthy to eat it with tomato, onion, avocado, yes. and pickles. And little dressing, they give you a little tasty different is so good yes definitely all right so let me get the um the rest of the sandwich ingredients out of the fridge okay do you want to start assembling here yeah now we want to we want to prepare okay how we can do a the sandwich later all right so why don't you show us how you make this we want to first we want to cut it a little hard Perfect. to the layer okay And all of these ingredients we showed you, some of them at the farmer's market, but you can get these any time of year at a grocery store. Um, just look for good fresh vegetables. For the tomatoes, you wanna make sure they're, uh, they're not too squishy. You wanna make sure they're nice and ripe. Um, and for, how, how do you tell when an avocado is good to eat? The avocado is good to eat. We can put it in the, in, in the... Right, but when you're at the grocery store, are you looking for specific things in an avocado to make sure you're picking a good one? Yeah, you can to pick the big one because the hard one, you, of course, you can to eat it. But you can lick it when that's so little soft that you just start, you can eat it. Perfect. Okay. Avocado is so good. Delicious. Yes. All right, okay, what's Okay, now next? we want to start it. I want to put a little dress first because we want a, like a little different taste, not too much, because that's a olive oil, it's not good to eat it. Everything that you eat too much, it's not good for you. Huh? <laughs> too much, right, everything in moderation. Exactly. But olive oil has some good healthy fats no, in no, it No, 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 it's good too, yeah. Yeah, so I just love, a little bit of dressing. I, use, I put a little dressing, now we started with tomato. Okay, looks good already, awesome. Okay, we want to put the little onion. A little red onion, and again, if any of these things you don't like at home, you can substitute with other vegetables that you like. Um, maybe some red no, uh, we like can peppers. Put or, exactly. Perfect. And this is the avocado, some slices of avocado. Great. And then we can. Okay. Then we have our meat here, which is in this case turkey. Again, this is going to be a turkey. The turkey purple is so good. It's like a little. Yeah. Hot, but it's so good. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and then what kind of cheese is this again? That's the one, the cheese. That's a mozzarella cheese. Okay. A slow mozzarella cheese. Perfect. And now you can put your sandwich like this. You see all together. Mm -hmm. and now you can put in the middle. You want to try? Yeah, okay. it looks great. And then you can try to... So we each have a, a half here of this sandwich. Why don't you take that one, Maddie? So Ooh. it looks really good. We try. So... Mmm. Mm. Very, very, very good. good. Mm -hmm. So you guys can see how quickly that all came together. So eating healthy, using fresh vegetables, it doesn't have to be... Um, labor intensive, it doesn't have to take a long time, it can be really, really quick and we just made a really good quick sandwich out of fresh healthy vegetables that you can get at the farmer's market here in Revere, that you can get in the grocery stores. Oh, we left out the pickles, but if you oh, wanted to the add pickle. the pickles. Uh, yeah, if you want to add the pickle, you can put it. The pickle yeah. is good too. I forget the pickle, but on the side we can do it with the pickle. Yeah, <laughs> and you could also put the pickle on the side or whatever <laughs> you like. So this was, this was a really great, quick and easy, healthy, yes. Full of vegetable in lunch. fact, you can make it in second. You can... Very fast, yes. So healthy eating doesn't have to be hard. 
And that's what we wanted to show you all here today on Focus on Health. Um, lots of, you know, when you cook with vegetables first, you're gonna, you're gonna have a good, healthy, rounded meal, which is what we always want. Sigano for my teeth. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us back in the kitchen. And we'll see you next time on Focus on Health. Bye. Thank you. Bye.